Right, to Easter's dealer. Let's have a look. So Easter's got a grand 13 points in total and a balanced hand. Um, so playing a weak no trump, which is 12 to 14, um, we would open one no trump here. Now, if you don't play a weak no trump and you play a strong no trump, instead you would open one of your longest suit and then look to rebid no trumps. But in England and New Zealand and Australia, I think, um, we play a weak no trump system. So therefore, with this hand, 12 to 14 balance, we would open one no trump. Now to South. South has got an interesting hand, shape-wise, six cards and hearts. Um, we've only got six, sorry, five points to South. Um, King of Spades is a singleton as well, isn't a very good three points. It probably will fall underneath the ace. So our hand is too weak, really, to bid. We could do a weak jump over call, but we'd have to be jumping to the three level and we'd be vulnerable. So ideally, you'd like seven cards in hearts for that bid, or six very good ones. Um, we have neither of those things, so uh, South is going to be passing. Now to West, responding to one no trump. Okay, so West has got uh, 14 points, a completely balanced hand, perfectly flat, 4-3-3-3. Um, we've got no interest in a major. If we had four cards in a major or, or more, uh, we would be doing some kind of stamen or transfer. With 4 3 3 3, no major at all. Um, it's quite a straightforward bid. We've got enough for game 12 to 14 over there. 14 here is at least 26 between the two hands. So we bid game. Three no trumps. Now to North. Unlikely they'll want to say anything, but let's have a look. Okay, so North has eight points. Not particularly good shape. Certainly nothing to say over three no trumps, um, so North's bid's easy, North would pass, and that would end the bidding. Right, so we're in three no trumps, South's on lead. Um, traditionally, you lead the fourth down of your longest and strongest suit against no trumps. The only time you don't do that, really, is if your partner has bid something, um, which they haven't, or you have a really good sequence. Three in a sequence against uh, no trumps is what's needed. So we do have a little sequence here, 10-9, in, in our long suit, which is hearts. But that's not three in a sequence. We'd like 10-9-8, or jack-10-9, or queen-jack-10, or something like that, to lead a sequence. So therefore, I wouldn't kind of go away against the uh, fourth town of longest and strongest. So therefore, I would lead exactly that, the five of hearts. All right, down goes the dummy. Okay, so in No Trumps it's good practice to count your top tricks and then work out where your extra tricks may well be coming from. So going from left to right, uh, our top tricks, tricks we can win without losing the lead, we have one in hearts, the ace. Top tricks in clubs is three, ace, king, queen, so that's four. Top tricks in diamonds, three again, ace, king, queen, so that's seven. Top tricks in spades is one, the ace. So we have eight top tricks here. That's pretty close to nine. We only need one more trick to make our contract. Obviously, we'd like to make more than nine if possible, but we need at least one more to try and make our contract. Tricks tend to come from length. So our extra tricks here, other than top tricks, of course, our extra tricks here are going to come from our length in either spades or clubs. That's the only suits we actually have more than the opponents. We have seven spades and eight clubs. Um, and it looks to me an extra trick would come fairly easily from clubs as long as the clubs break three and two. So we play the ace of clubs, king of clubs, queen of clubs, the clubs break 3-2, that would make the last club a winner. Notice the presence of the 10 of clubs on the dummy. That means even if the clubs are 4-1, we will still make an extra trick there if the jack of clubs is a singleton, or a doubleton, or a trebleton. So basically, we need the clubs to break 3-2, or the jack of clubs to fall, to make four tricks from this club suit rather than just three, the ace, king, queen. So if we do make four tricks from the club suit, it will be 1, plus 4 is 5, plus 3 is 8, plus 1 is 9. There isn't really anywhere else to go. We could try to chase the spades, but they are very weak. We're missing king, queen, jack, nine, eight. So we only really have a very, very outside chance of making an extra trick in spades. And the clubs are much, much more likely to, pr to produce an extra trick. Looks like we're just going to come out with nine tricks here as long as the clubs behave. I would play the two hearts from the dummy because it's basically irrelevant what we play on this particular lead. Okay, partners led a heart. Um, we are short in hearts, which is not surprising given that our partner's led from length, but we do have good hearts. So we want to follow with an honour, king or queen. Both are equivalent to us, but when you're following suit, you should follow bottom up. So we should play the queen, which denies the jack, but we may or may not have the king. You play bottom of touching cards when you're following suit, and you lead top of touching. So we should follow with the queen of hearts. Okay, so 
The opponents have led the hearts, which is not good for us. Um, we are weak in hearts. We only have one stopper. The jack of hearts will not be a stopper because the king will be played on the jack wherever that king is. Um, we could duck the hearts. Typical principle in no trumps is to duck, duck your weakest suit and hold back your stopper for as long as possible to try and exhaust one opponent of the particular suit. As it happens, I don't think it's going to matter because this hand simply comes down to are the clubs behaving or are they not? If the clubs are breaking, great, we've got four tricks there which gets our total to nine. If the clubs aren't breaking, problems, we then will basically have to go off in this contract because we've got nowhere else to go. So we could duck the heart, but I think it's, it's pretty much irrelevant because we're going we're gonna to lose that heart trick later if we, if we don't duck and if we do duck then it doesn't actually make much of a difference. You could say playing the jack of hearts gives us an outside chance that the hearts are breaking, something like 7 1 or something. Um, I personally will play the ace of hearts on it and just get going with our clubs to see if they break or not. Okay, so as mentioned before, we want to try to uh, set these clubs up. That's the only chance of an extra trick. So we need the clubs to be breaking 3 2, or the jack of clubs to be singleton. There is one extra chance, and that is if the jack of clubs is on our left with the length, let's say they've got jack to 4 or jack to 5. When we play the King of Clubs and the Queen of Clubs, we'll find out that North has no more clubs. The Jack of Clubs will be sat underneath our Ace and Ten. This is known as keeping your finessing position. You want to, we can only finesse one way in clubs, should we wish to. We can't finesse low club towards our hand because we've got no intermediate in hand. So the correct way to play the clubs is cash from the hand where you can't finesse to. We can finesse to dummy, we can't finesse to hand. So I would start with the King of Clubs, which gets a low club from everybody. That's good news, they're not 5-0, which doesn't happen very often, to be honest. And now, we play the Queen of Clubs. In theory, we could go over to the Ace of Clubs now and rely on them being 3-2. and two. But, that would then give up if there was the remaining 3 clubs here, i.e. it was Jack to 4 here, and 1 club over there at the start. So you play the Queen of Clubs. Low club comes from South, that's good news. Low club from the Dummy. Now, when North plays the low club, you know the clubs have broken 3-2. So, therefore, the ace of clubs will kill the jack, wherever that is, and that ten of clubs will be our ninth trick. However, just theoretically, if North was not to play a club now, you would know that, that South has jack and another club. So, when you play the clubs, you could finesse for the jack on the next round. That's what I was talking about when you keep the finessing position. As it happens, that's not necessary, because the clubs are breaking 3-2. What that means is the jack of clubs will now fall, and our ninth trick has just presented itself in the shape of a length trick in clubs. So then we play a club, the jack appears, hooray, play the ace of clubs on the dummy, and they throw something away. So now if we count our tricks in total, we've got this club trick. So we've got four already, we've got this club trick is five, three diamonds is eight, and the ace of spades is nine. There is no chance of any extra tricks. If we relinquish the lead, we may well lose the contract, simply because the hearts go heart, 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 heart. As we can see, the hearts are actually blocked between the two hands, but we don't know that. There might be king to five hearts left here, so as soon as we lose the lead, we're going off. So we can't afford to try any funny business by ducking a spade or, or something else, leading a heart or something like that. We simply need to cash out for our nine tricks. One club, three diamonds, and one spade. That's five tricks more, and we've already got four. So therefore, that will get us nine tricks. And that's all there is to the hand. If we take the first nine, we lose the last four.